used a road map or seen a road map. Um, we used our map maps in class. They're relief maps. They show elevation in a very general sort of way. Well, this is another kind of map that's called a topographic map. Now, these are very specialized maps for use if you're going in the backcountry, you're going backpacking or hiking or four-wheel driving, and you want to know the exact shape of the land. You want to know where the hills are and the valleys and canyons, and you want to be able to, you know, maybe navigate your way through, hike with a compass, and figure out where you are. So we're going to learn about these. Topographic, this was one of your vocabulary words, topography. The name comes from the shape of the land. So a topographic map shows the topography or also known as the shape of the land. Now remember, land features are things like mountains, you know, plains, valleys. Let me just write these out here. Okay. Anytime you want to see the shape of the land, it can actually be shown on a topographic map. Now, in my family, we do a lot of hiking and backpacking. We use topographic maps all the time. Here's an example of what one looks like. I'll zoom in and on a close-up of a map a little bit later in the lesson. The main things you want to know, though, shows the lay of the land. The way it does that, a topographic map shows elevation. Elevation, remember that's the height above sea level. It shows elevation by using contour lines. Looks like a whole bunch of squiggly lines all over the map. What is contour line, you might ask? Contour line is a line of equal elevation. It's a line of equal elevation or same height. Same height above what? Above sea level. Sea level is the zero elevation. Okay. Now, when you look at the contours, you can tell the shape of the land just by looking at a map. You can see where every mountaintop, every hillside, every canyon, every valley, and you can tell exactly what height it is. That's something to definitely get in your notes. When you look at the contours, you can tell the shape. or contour, I'll kneel down here, of the land. And you can still see this on the board. It kind of would look like, you know, maybe a squiggly set of lines. Something like that. Lots of squiggly lines. 
try to show you a close-up. I don't know how well this is going to show in the video, but we'll see. Tomorrow you'll be working with these maps in class, so you'll get to see a whole bunch of contour maps and contours on topographic maps. So right here, if you can see it, it's a map of Cowles Mountain, which is a mountaintop right close to where we live. A lot of people hike it. Uh, there's even a road up to the back. You can There's radio towers on top. All those squiggly lines are showing the shape of the land right there. Now there's some things that you can definitely tell. How do you know if the land is steep or flat? How do you know if there's a canyon? How do you know if there's a mountaintop? How do you know if there's a stream showing which way it's flowing? We're going to learn about those in our next little note board. Okay, so these are the basics of what a topographic map is. Okay, shows the topography, shows elevation by contour lines. The contour line is a set of equal or line of equal elevation, same height above sea level. And when you look at the contours or read them, you can tell the shape of the land. Okay. So, reading a topographic map. Now, how do you tell if an area is steep or flat? I'm going to explain and then I'm going to do a couple little sketches of some things that you might see while you're looking at a topographic map. Now, they also have numbers that tell you the elevation. Um, there's other, other landmark features that you'll see. Okay, but steep or flat? Steep areas have contour lines that are close together. If you think of it, if an area is really steep, it's going to be changing elevation very quickly, like a steep cliff or mountainside. So it's going to have, you're going to see lines that are very close together. Okay, that means that it is changing elevation at a steep rate. Okay, flat areas. have contour lines that are widely spaced. Or far apart. So you're changing elevation very slowly so it's definitely a longer time before you get to the next elevation line. Add a couple more to my steep ones. These are flat ones. Um, if you have a mountaintop, then you have circles that go in the, to the smallest circle. So the top of the hill Top. Sorry about my pen running out. The top of a hill is the smallest closed shape. So, if you see something that looks like this on a contour map, very top of the hill, I'm going to put an X marks the spot right there, top of the hill. Because, again, you're coming up to a point, and the highest elevation is just a little point. Okay. Our next little detail, this is kind of neat. Which way is a river flowing? You can tell by the shape of the contours. 
when you got a valley, they're always going to be in a V. Contour lines are going to go in a V shape. So there's a lot you can tell just by looking at those squiggly lines and learning how to read them. The contour lines make a V shape that points uphill. Now that's a point that you need to remember. You are going to be asked to figure out which way a river is flowing. Um, so you need to know that. Do rivers flow uphill? No, rivers flow downhill. So if you see a shape on a contour map that goes like this, and there's a river in the bottom of that, usually shown by blue, you know that the V points uphill. So, I'm going to write this uphill. And of course, if the V's are pointing uphill, which way is the river flowing? You guessed it. Down that hill, the opposite way. River flow, and that's an L. Downhill. Because rivers never flow uphill, at least not on this planet. Okay? So that's how you can tell. Steep areas, contours that are very close together, changing elevation quickly. Flat areas, contour lines that are very far apart because it's changing elevation slowly, or maybe not at all. Which way is a river flowing? The contour lines make a V shape, and the V always points uphill. So if you see something like this, the V points uphill, and if the V is pointing uphill, which way is the river flowing? The opposite. Okay. That is our first lesson on what a topographic map is and how you read them.